All right, here are your notes for um, solving equations with fractions. Uh, good news is it also works for inequalities, this method. So don't be scared if you have an inequality with a, with a fraction coefficient. So we do it with what are called reciprocals. That's one way to do it. So reciprocals are just flip fractions. So I'm just going to show you the re three reciprocals for the three that we have up here. The reciprocal of one-third, which is one over three, is just three or three over one. But we would just say that's probably just three, right? Knowing that three over one is three. Um, second one, the reciprocal of five-sevenths is just seven-fifths. And the reciprocal of two-fifths is five-halves. Okay? I shouldn't put equals. That's probably not a good idea. All right? They're not equal. Uh, here's what they are. Uh, why do we use them? Because if you take one-third times three over one, or if you take five-sevenths times seven over five, what you find is that is equal to three over three, which is one. That is equal to 35 over 35, which is one. And two-fifths over five-halves is equal to 10 over 10, which is one. That's important because what we want to know is we want to know what one-x is equal to when we solve. So what this does is this gets rid of the fraction in front of the x and gets us to 1. And you're going to see how that works right here. So here's your first one um, that I'm going to work through with you. 3 fifths t times 3 fifths of t equals 6. Well, if we use this, well, the reciprocal is 5 thirds. So if I just take 5 thirds times 3 fifths, well, those cancel out. All right? Those equal 1. So those just cancel all out, and all I have to do is just do it to the other side. 6 over 1 times 5 over 3. What is that? 30 over 10, or 30 over 3, t is equal to 10. So 3 fifths of 10 is equal to, 3 fifths of t equal to 6, t is equal to 10, t is equal to 10. That's how you do it. All right, so here, second one. 2 sevenths times t, multiply it by 7 halves. Take 8 over 1 times 7 halves. Okay. These cancel out to t to 1. t is equal to, now I'm going to cancel. I love canceling diagonally when I do it, so I make that a 1 and make that a 4 because 2 goes into both of those. So instead of 56 over 2, that just goes to 28 over 1. t is equal to 28. Okay. Next one. One-seventh of t, or one-seventh times t, is equal to three. I mean, mentally, could you do it? Maybe. But we're going to show you this method here. Yeah. Multiply it by seven over one. Take three over one times seven over one. Cancel it out. t is equal to 21. Okay. Next one. Four-fifths of what number? Four-fifths of t is equal to eight times five-fourths. Take 8 over 1 times 5 fourths, cancel out, t is equal to, cancel, cancel, I'm going to do that, t is equal to 10. Okay. One ninth of what number is 6, okay, times 9 over 1, 6 over 1 times 9 over 1, all right, just a basic multiplication problem right there, cancel them out. T is equal to 54. Okay. Next one. 3 fifths of T is equal to 6. Multiply by 5 thirds. Multiply 6 over 1 times 5 thirds. Cancel it out. T is equal to. I'm actually going to cancel the 3 and the 6 because 3 goes into 3 one time. 3 goes into 6 twice. That works for multiplication. If not, go ahead and multiply it across, right? You're going to get 30 over 3. But if you do cancel diagonally, you're just going to get 10. Okay. All right. The last two. And the beautiful thing, just make sure that if you have a negative, because in free algebra, you guys will get some negatives. If you have a negative here, well, you just got to multiply it by a negative as well, because you've got to make that positive. So this one, let's see here. I'm going to put my work. I'm actually going to move over for this one and switch the order. I'm going to put 3 tenths t is equal to 2 thirds. Draw my river, multiply it by 10 thirds, all right, cancels out, multiply this side by 10 thirds, 
And let's see, I can't cancel anything. So that <clears throat> actually is 20 ninths. Or if you're going next number, two and two ninths. There we go. Okay. Last time I'm just going to work on the box. Times four over one. Times four over one. Canceled out. A is equal to four times four. Nothing to cancel. 16 over 15, which equals one and one fifteenths. Both the same. They're like much longer. I'm not going to do these last two. I mean, you could think of it as one ninth, pull out of one ninth, but really, you've done these before, right? This is just multiplying both sides by nine. It's going to get you to nine. Nine. You're going to multiply both sides by eight. On this one, to cancel out the dividing by eight, you're going to get h is equal to 48. So I'm going to leave those two, deal with the fractions, use those reciprocals. All right, have a great day.